and welcome to my channel. My name is Shawnee. We are Glitzy Stitches Home DIY. How's everybody doing? I am so glad to be here with you today. You guys, it's already turbo gnome season. I absolutely cannot believe it. This year just flew by. Each and everything that I show you today, I will have a link to that video in my description box below. I'm going to go through with you some teacup gnomes. We may even do a smaller sock gnome. I absolutely adore these. Let me show you what I've made thus far. I've made this set. And I've been collecting socks throughout the year from all over the place. I just think this set is absolutely adorable. And the little feet. And you guys know I make my feet with Dollar Tree hearts. And I picked up some beard material at a garage sale. I got over a yard, I think almost two yards, for 50 cents. It's okay. It's not the absolute best, but it sure does work for what we're using it for. So I really, really love these little guys right here. So I will be selling these at a set, as a set at my craft fair for probably 10 bucks. So, yeah. So come and adventure with me through our gnome season guys we're going to work on a teacup gnome and hopefully we'll get to that other little sock gnome so come join me won't you And here we go. We are going to be making a teacup gnome today. Let me show you guys how I have started. And what I have started with is I have made, this is a teacup saucer that I purchased at an antique shop. I paid, I think, $5 for this actually. So what we're going to do with this one is I have a pool noodle. Now for your pool noodle, you will need a four inch piece of pool noodle. And guys, they are really, now this is actually from the Dollar Tree and it's actually supposed to be like a fall colored pool noodle. And guys, they're gonna, I think they're gonna carry them year round for each season. So that's exciting. I had no problems finding my pool noodle. You need a four inch piece. And what I do is I take a piece of tape and I wrap around the pool noodle at four inches and I cut around it with an exacto knife or I do use my finger blade as well and it comes right off for you my beard is let me see here two by three and a half inches and I have painted with our chalkboard paint from the Dollar Tree a pair of the baby shoes okay it doesn't have to be perfect around here because we're going to glue that to our gnome beard now what we're going to do for the sole of our baby shoes i want these to look very nice and polished guys especially if i'm going to be selling them at my craft fair so i haven't taken my teacup gnomes before this will be a first and i'm pretty excited about it so what we're going to do, I have two pieces of black felt. Now, you need good black felt for this. You can't, the Dollar Tree felt, although it works for the purpose it's used for, I would not put this on the bottom of a pair of gnome shoes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to very lightly coat this with some hot glue, just very lightly on the bottom. You'd do the same if you were making like a, a sock gnome as well. Just And I'm just going to stick it on there, just like that. There's no perfect way to do this, guys. So just don't put a lot of glue on it, just like that. I'm so happy to be with you guys today. As you know, I have been off YouTube for quite some time, just living my life. Um, things got trying on YouTube, and it was really, really demanding, and I'm retired. And I had, you know, a workload for many, many years, over 30 years, and this is something I just want to relax and do. So now I think that's exactly when it comes to YouTube. It's exactly what I'm going to do. We'll be posting videos now and again. And probably mostly gnome videos to be honest. So alright let's go here. Let's see. I do do some 
jewelry reselling. That has been going absolutely fabulous. Let's see. Just going to put our little slits in. This is one of the best tips you could receive on these shoes, on the soles. Putting these little slits in, it saves you time and a lot of hassle trying to fold up. Okay, we're going to take our glue. Now, you guys, please either use finger protectors for this or your spatula, your silicone spatula. I got hurt yesterday quite bad, burned with my glue gun. It's been a long time since I've actually sat down and used my glue gun on a full project. And, oh my goodness, you could tell that I was really, really needing more practice. So there we go. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go all the way around our shoe with a very thin layer towards the bottom, right towards the sole, and we're just going to push up on this to stick that to our shoe just like so. If you find any sticking out too much, just snip it off, guys. That's all you got to do. All right, we're going to get this shoe finished. Okay, guys, so I have our soles on our shoes. And I wanted to mention that I am going to be making everything to a T with these next few gnomes that I do, friends. And it's because I was chosen, I'm so honored, I was chosen by invitation only to attend a craft fair that there were 20 spots available and they chose me for one of them based on my crafting. I could not believe it. I do not know who suggested me, but I was just like, I am so honored. And that is at the end of October. But as you can imagine for that show, I want to do my best work. So I'm going to try really hard to do so. So if I seem a little slow and a little more tedious than usual, that's exactly why. Okay, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put, I have this elastic ribbon that I purchased at Joann's. Okay, there is a smoother side to this and there is a side with more sheen. We're going to go ahead and make sure that the side with more sheen is facing outward. What I'm going to do is we're going to put the ribbon around the shoe tightly. It's going to go on tightly. Now I'm going to be very careful here because again, I got burnt quite severely yesterday and I do not want to do a repeat of that. So there we go. And every so often you're just going to want to tack it. Now after that, see that drop I got there guys? We want to make sure that completely dries and hardens before we even attempt to take that off. Otherwise you're going to smear your shoe. I am pulling this. Just as tight as it will go, and I'm going to pull it all the way around the shoe. A very light bead of glue, and just follow your shoe right around, just like so. There we go. I have a habit of taking my fingers to it, too, so that's my own fault. I have to be very careful. All right, there we go. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And we're going to keep this going just like that. A nice long stretch all the way around. You want to make sure that it's not over your sole. You want it perfectly aligned with the sole of your shoe. Now that's not too hot. All right, let's get this finished off. Have our little shoes completed, and that's the part that we're going to be able to to view right here. This is what people are going to see right here. Not the tops at all, at all. How I attached my pool noodle after I put a sock on it, you can put any kind of sock on this you want. I prefer the tight woven knit and I purchased these at a little party store actually um, in another town, an adjoining town from my own. But anyway, I put this on this saucer with hot glue around a ring, but in the center, guys, I used fiber tack. Absolutely, positively, I love fiber tack. It takes a minute to set, but once fiber tack sets, you're all set. I mean, it's just, no pun intended, but I mean, seriously, once fiber tack sets, it's not going to go anywhere. So, we're going to turn our little 
gnome towards you. You want to turn this towards you guys. I'm not trying to get away from the camera. I just want you guys to see how I do this. I'm going to turn this towards me. His beard. I want to make sure his beard is how I want it down here at this time. Okay. You want to try it. You want to look and see how is this going to look. Okay. It's going to be adorable. You want to keep them just a wee bit separate. Put some hot glue on the bottom. Okay, right here on the back of the shoe, just like that, and around the sole, just we around the sole, around the opening of the shoe, just a little bit, guys. All right, now we're going to take that. I want this to kind of lean down there a little bit. Now we're going to take this, and we're just going to simply, this is a one-shot chance, guys. Okay, and I want it to go down, and oh boy, this is so tough, and I'm trying not to burn myself again. <laughs> trying okay oh my goodness this is so cute let me show you got a little bit of glue in his beard but check that out now that's cute already so so cute all right so now it's time for our teacup Now this is where you have to fit it just right because we're going to make sure our nose fits. You have to see the nose, right? It's a gnome. You have to see the nose. If you want to, you can make it to where this teacup is still usable. You're still going to be able to have a cup of tea in it. And you would do that by adding Velcro strips rather than glues. I'm not going to do that, guys. I'm going to make these strictly for um, knickknacks and to display so and i will let my customers know that and i will let them know that if they'd like one custom made i can use velcro velcro strips so what we're going to do is i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to place this teacup on here just like so what i'm going to do though is i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to add some fabric tac right around the center okay just like so all right now I'm gonna get my hot glue and our hot glue is gonna go and this is kind of a one-shot thing guys you probably got one shot at this all right let's go with that now we're just gonna simply you want to grab your teacup I try to slant it a bit so the nose will show add some pressure oh my gosh how cute is that even before we get our nose on so so cute all right now for the nose i have a one inch half bead here i purchased these at hobby lobby and i purchased these at walmart just a few minutes ago actually because i was out so i'm gonna have to get my nose let me get my nose just right some hot glue and you can use fabri-tac for this as well if you'd like but you have to make sure that you have that hot glue for that right now hold because your fabri-tac will make sure that it's going to stay in place later on there we go and i'm just going to push on it for a minute guys just for a little bit and as you guys can see these aren't any cheap teacups this teacup here is a royal chelsea it was made in England and it is numbered so yeah oh my goodness what do you think guys <laughs> so far so cute right so so cute now let's decorate this now I was going to put a sunflower on this let's see how that would look mm, that's quite big that's quite a large sunflower we could always put it like that. I don't like that. And it doesn't really match the flowers we have going. So what I have done is I have a little flower that is not the same color as this, but it has some on the saucer. So what that's going to do is it will bring out the colors in the saucer 
when we attach it right here to our teacup. Okay, so what we're going to do, I have to take this apart because it has to be able to stick. So I'm literally going to take the flower apart just like so. Okay, just like that. It does still have a bit of backing on it. Now, our leaf also has backing on it. Now that's got to go bye-bye as well because that's just, it's plastic. And to our hot glue, it's going to, oof, not be real good. So I'm going to try to get this off here, just like so. Look at my pliers. I'm going to tap this with some hot glue right here. Make sure you know where your finger protector is real quick or your spatula. So you can grab it fast and you're going to stick it here, just like that. Just like so. Okay, now we're going to take our flower, guys. We're going to take this and we are going to place it right there. All right, so we're going to take our hot glue a little bit right here. Wee bit, guys. You don't need a whole bunch for this one. Stick. Grab your spatula right down in there. Okay, now here's the fun part. Watch what we're going to do to this flower. Okay, we're going to take this little pearl. We're going to play just a little pearl. It's probably an eight millimeter, I'd guess, right in the center of our floral. Switch that around. Voila, absolutely stunning. Now again, I'm going to wait until this glue dries really good. I'm going to come back and I'm going to pull the strings. That's key with these teacup gnomes, guys. The key is do not pull the glue while it's warm. You have to make sure this glue is set so it will stick to your project while it is warm. Yeah, you know, and I mean, it's just, I love it. <laughs> Absolutely, just like this. No, um, I'm going to see how maybe some dogwood would look. Let's see. In the back. Mm, no, I don't like that. I like it just plain. Absolutely stunning. You can still see the value of the teacup. I like that as well. You can see how and where the teacup is from and how it was, who manufactured it. Okay, now if there's anything that you need to get off here, now would be the time to do it. Just grab the stuff just like so. Okay, guys, and that is our first teacup gnome of 2023 for my craft fair. I am not going to add anything else to this. I absolutely think this turned out just adorable. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, guys, and if you like what you've seen today, go ahead and give me a great big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell next to your subscription. You'll be notified each time I upload new video. I can also be found on Instagram and Facebook at Glitzy Stitches Home by Shawnee Lee. Have a great day, everyone. Bye. If you liked today's video, here's something else you may enjoy.